Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you visual scripting in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to clean up our main scene here and start getting this level ready for the rest of our game. We have finished our player controller. So it's time for us to make the rest of our platformer. So to start with, we're going to start reorganizing our scene. Uh, we now have ball scenes, platform scenes, and player scenes. So let's go ahead and add a new node 2D. And we're going to call this platforms. Now go ahead and take each of the platforms and add it into this. And now we're just going to start Kind of making our level. You can do this however you want, whatever sizes you want things to be. So the shortcuts I'm using here are Q to get the selector up here, so you can select it, S to resize things how you want, and W to move them around. After you've done this, you can use Control D to start duplicating and moving stuff around. So I'm just going to make a simple platform level and I'm going to start making some platforms that go off the screen because in the future we are going to actually have a camera that can scroll around. So once again, so I can collapse that down over here. I can right click, add child node and new node for balls because it's real fun to have them jumping around. So once again, press Q and I can select the ball, W to move it around. Q, W, Control D, and I can put these anywhere I want. And if I want to say, press Q, go ahead and press what is it? E, I can rotate it around so that the next time I have a ball up here, Q, now W to move, Control D to duplicate. I'll start that up there. Q, select, W to move around. And now when I go and play, ball will go ahead and roll down. I can go and kick them off, go up here. And I can kick that off and I can go off the screen. And that's it, we are now ready to start updating the art, so making some tileable platforms so these can look a lot better than just straight lines, um, as well as get into animation for the character and a camera that will follow the character across the screen. And that will be in the next lessons, so I'll see you then. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.